uh, this far in the game, and he's already giving GGs out. So. <laughs> Drew's got some SCVs for Penguins Battle Cruisers, and if you've seen my 3v3s and 4v4s of lately, I'm loving Battle Cruisers and 3v3 and 4v4 with SCV repair underneath. You see like 10 SCVs repair mass Battle Cruisers. It's amazing in 3v3 and 4v4. So Drewby is going to have to uh, do something pretty amazing to do to get out of here, and he's even throwing down some point defense drones just to protect these missile turrets. Uh, so food count here, you can see the top 179 versus 200. Uh, Drewby in in the uh, actually behind, and look at this Drewby making three nukes. How many nukes does each player have now? This is turning into like the Cold War at this point. A cloaked a ghost running up. This is like covert affairs, and the nuke's gonna go down. Uh, gonna go right here on top of this, and those missiles, and turrets, and point defense drones, and things are gonna be in trouble. He's gonna have to unsiege. He's gonna get out of there in time. That SCV's gonna die. Two SCVs are gonna die. More than likely, maybe even a third one down there, and this nuke's gonna land. There it goes, taking out some units. Going to be able to push up those missile turrets. Are going to be down. He's going to be able to push up with those battle cruisers, no problem. We do have a Velo taking this bottom base now here, and uh, is he going to push back in? He's like, you know what? You take out all that stuff. I'll just push back in. Scan going down. We got some special op ghosts uh, throwing down another nuke, and he's going to have to pull those siege tanks back. He's got three attack upgrades on there. Three attack upgrades here for nope. Derby's not doesn't have that many upgrades there for the mech, but he does have a lot for the infantry. Another nuke going to land there. And there it goes, and this battle cruiser is going to push right in, and they're going to take out those tanks. Yamato Cannon is going to be able to take out a couple of siege tanks, but he needs to watch out for those Vikings. Oh, there it goes, there goes that battle cruiser. Losing that battle cruiser, not a very good trade to Hunter Seeker Missile. Where was that at? I heard a Hunter Seeker Missile coming from somewhere. Uh, just so much action going on here. And let's see, unit kills. Let's check that out again. 110 versus 69. Work kills 35 versus 24. Alright, enough of that stuff. Uh, siege tanks here pushing up the middle. Sure to that name tag, you know who's playing at this point. Uh, and some long distance mining here, but a uh, ghost kind of, uh, is he envisioning that missile turret? Evidently he is not. And those throws come down to do some protection uh, for these long distance mining SCVs. He's, <laughs> he's long distance mining. Instead of mining from over here, he's mining out his opponent's bases. That is hilarious. I don't think I've seen that before in a TBT or in any matchup. Uh, but he instead of mining from his own base and getting more minerals, uh, he is actually long distance mining to take his opponent's minerals. That is hilarious, but we have some more ghosts coming up. They're going to do some damage, pick out all these SCVs, just get a couple kills. And uh, look at that. Mm, look at the resource count up here. Almost 6,000 resources, 2,000 gas for Drupy. And there's a nuke. Where's his nuke at? Oh, in the middle. He's throwing down a scan. He needs to watch out. Uh, he's got three siege tanks up here in the front, and he's going to have to pull back. He's got to have to save those doors. He's going to lose that one door. Those missile turrets are going to die. He's going to lose some more point defense drones, no problem, but little bit of a nuke there and we see some ghosts just taking out SCVs and taking out missile turrets and another nuke going down here in the middle he's got that raven he needs to how is Drewby pushing this Drewby's got like three tanks here okay he's got some more back here but he's only really pushing three tanks and oh no he just sniped the ghost sniping another ghost I uh, got some ghost on ghost action uh, taking out that nuke good job there from Avila and this slow push from these tanks and now he's nuking back so we got a, a nuke now coming from Avila is going to take out Drewby's tanks now Drewby's going to be forced to pull back and these ghosts down here from Doobie are just controlling all these uh, SCVs from this long distance money. 15 kills on that one, 8 kills on that one, 4 kills on this one. No kills on that SCV. He needs to uh, get some guns or something because he's not carrying his weight. He's doing some long distance gas mining <laughs> from this base. Uh, but Drewby's, or Avila, is definitely pretty low on the resource. 6,000 gas, so he's got some money to burn. Another nuke coming down from over here. And uh, who, where's this nuke? Okay, this ghost is going to nuke. That's going to do a lot of damage to this ghost. is in the wrong location. He needs to get out of there. Uh... There he goes, he's gonna get out of there. Okay, he's only probably gonna lose his missile turret. Oh, not even losing the missile turret. Only taking off half the life of that, but burning some... I don't know what that thing is, but it is on fire. Another nuke going down. And, uh... I'm taking this base up here, Drewby taking this base. He's gonna need to get some minerals. Avila taking this base up here at the top. This nuke is gonna kill those siege tanks. And maybe, maybe, maybe. It uh, looks like it's gonna land. Yeah, you can see it. Oh, it's too late. He's gonna take one out and get that missile turret there, finally, with the two nukes. Now another nuke. Man, there are just nukes all over the place. Five nukes being made now for Drewby at the same time. Where is this uh, missile silo factory he's got running back here? Oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, wow, another nuke going down. At this point in the game, it would just be so easy for Avila just to come up here and just drop. Because look at this defense up here. There's like one missile turret protecting all this. He could kill all those orbitals and he'd be so screwed on uh, nukes at this point. Because nukes seem to be the weapon of choice. Yeah. In this uh, Cold War that's kind of warmed up at this point, it's kind of turned into full-out nuke-on-nuke action uh, so far in this game. Not much attacks going on. Both players just kind of hanging out. Uh, Drewby now getting this base back up and going. He's going to be able to mine this base 
over here and he's got this base mining back again so it's kind of evening out a little bit but Avilo is up here and down here with some units but oh no we got another nuke where is that thing going there it is he's gonna scan and take that out he's gonna get shut down those those battle cruisers are gonna have to they could probably actually easily tag out some doors if they wanted to but they have to watch out for those mass amount of vikings check the upgrades too too and uh where is this ghost at he's got to be around here somewhere Battle Cruiser's pushing up, and that nuke is going to deal a lot of damage. Yamato can't take out some missile turrets, and that nuke's going to hit. Oh, so close to hitting all those air units. That was such a close bait. He almost got in there, and Scan just going down left and right. What does Drew even have vision of? He sees basically this. He's not aware of this up here at the top, except for that one little dot. Uh, but we got a nuke going, and he does scan. I think he just scanned that, and now he is aware of that. So yeah, he does see that. He sees that base up there. He does not not aware of that one at the bottom. There's another nuke. Where is that nuke at? There it is. There's a nuke up here on the right, but he's going to have to get out of there. The sirens are going. Drewby's going to have to get out of town. Nuke hit. Oh, gets out just in time. Only loses that missile turret. Not too bad. Another nuke going down. And Avilo sieging up, and oh no, this is going to be bad. Ruby, oh no, he's going to snipe it, he snipes! Oh, he doesn't kill it, he needs to get out of those tanks, they're going to die! Oh no, those siege tanks are just doing most of the damage there, and this guy gets out of town with one life left, that new kidding, and oh no, it doesn't kill anything, he even saves all those SCVs. Nice job there. Uh, both players just going back and forth with these nukes here in this TVT, pushing up Avilo, wants to take out this expansion, uh, and maintain his lead, so we have high auto tracking upgrade finally coming on for Ruby, and pushing up he's gonna lose that oh no lifting up he's gonna lose it no matter what a big nuke being laid here who is that okay looks like Avila's is placing this nuke and those doors uh need to get some new orders to get out of there that nuke is gonna land and deal some damage he's scanning that guy ghost is not uh camouflage <laughs> he's gonna get shot oh man these ghosts are getting lazy this game they need to get some uh camouflage get that cloak going on Avila pushing up with some doors uh the, those tanks are doing some very cost efficient damage on those clumped up doors there He's, we're gonna see some Yamato cans from Druby. Uh, looks like it. Looks like nope. He's gonna fall back. There's so many air units just keeping uh, control and keeping the air superiority here at Vila, just not letting those battle cruisers get too terribly close to those uh, Thor's for Yamato cannon. Three more battle cruisers come out. Three more nukes being produced. And more ghost strike cannons being researched. Uh, just because why not? And now we have two command centers being produced. So we may see Druby switch into uh, mostly of a mule army and get rid of most of his SCVs. A nuke coming here on the high ground. And that's going to force Avila to fall back, and those tanks are going to be able to get out of there. Are they going to get out of there? Oh, they unseed, but they're too busy. <laughs> oh, this is this tank. Nukes going down. We have a drop. No, actually, that's not a drop. It's just SCVs hanging out. <laughs> SCVs hanging out, chatting with each other. Red and blue, shaking hands. And uh, and there's some stuff being sniped. Uh, ghosts actually were sniping another ghost there. And there's a nuke coming up here from the top. Uh, Drewby's doing a nuke, and it looks like two nukes here from Drewby. He's going to be forced to fall back. He's pulling back that one. He sees the second one, uh, and he's going to fall back. He does see that little red dot there. Another nuke here at the top, and he's kind of slowly taking back this middle point, and there goes the nuke, and he, those doors cock, they uh, cockily walk back through that radiation. They don't even care. Is, is that even a word? Cockily walk back through radiation? Uh, anyways, we've got another nuke coming down, and where is that at? There's just so many nukes going on. Okay, here's a nuke up here. That's going to be able to take out some uh, tanks. Uh, at the same time, he's pushing down here. Avila's going to hold off this expansion. Battle cruiser's pushing up. Nope, they're not going to be able to do anything. Ex Nuke is going to land. There it goes. Take another point of the Not very cost effective there. But Avila's just really controlling these expansions, outside expansions, very well. He's had these two up here, this one and this one, going forever. Uh, not really mining that much out of them. He's pretty low on the nose. The model cannons taking out SCVs. Uh, that's a first. And he just wants to take up the SCVs. He doesn't want those buildings to get up. There we go. Taking them both out. It looks like he may have actually canceled them. Mules being called down. Uh, who's Avila's calling down mules? Why not? Uh, some ghosts are now pushing up from Avila. Uh, back of defense. It looks like we have some more ghosts coming up here from Drew. He's got four nukes for three nukes ready to go. He's going to lay down some serious nukage. And let's see, he's coming up here. He's going to do another nuke. Yep, some more nukes. He's got some more coming. But, uh, oh. Okay, good, he does see that. He's going to fall back. There goes this one nuke. Boom, there it goes. Pretty. And uh, another nuke going to come down take out some more missile turrets. There it goes. Only going to take out one, unfortunately. Three, three air upgrades for Avilo. Uh, ground upgrades, two, three. And this ghost is going to take out this missile turret. No, no, he's going to watch it. He's going to get sniped. Oh, he's going to fall back just in time. Fortunately, that one snipe does not kill a ghost. And look at these, uh, all these ghost academies up here. That's just insane. Production facilities of both players. There's some more nukes launching. Uh, that one just shot off a, a big one, and uh, he's gonna throw down a scan. He's gonna see that. Oh, is he gonna strike cannon the ghost? 
He's gonna take it out. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't take it out. That Banshee. Oh, Banshee should have just stuck around and finished the job. Unfortunately, not gonna work out. And Avilo is uh, needs to watch out. There's that red dot. There's a red dot right there, buddy. We gotta attack some ghosts pushing down here. There's gonna be another nuke. He's gonna take out those tanks and this missile turret. Probably gonna die. There we go. Another nuke going down. I've actually lost count in this game. How many nukes there's been? Uh, there needs to be okay, Blizzard. If anybody from Blizzard is watching this, please add just some like random uh, overlay just so we can see how many nukes have been launched in a game. Just like make it some ridiculous hotkey combination, like Control R T or whatever. And uh, Yamato Ken is going to take out a bunch of tanks, and those tanks are going to have to die because those Yamato Ken is way others. Uh, Thor's pushing up. That's going to cause all those uh, Vikings to fall back, and uh, those uh, battle cruisers fall back also. Pretty close engagement there. Neither player is fully committing an entire army to any attack. They're just kind of slow playing this game as long as possible. This is definitely turning into a war of attrition. Look at all these nukes being researched. Five nukes at the same time. He's going to have a lot of nukes coming out. And uh, Avila now finally starting to call down, call down some mules here to this bottom base, this top base. Kind of not being saturated this much. And this one, this base hasn't even been touched. So Avila has so much uh, just saved up here. You can just use so <laughs> the mineral difference between both players here is amazing. Amazing, about six thousand minerals here, but only four hundred for uh, Avilo, and gas is completely sidewinded. But uh, strike cannon going on a ghost. Another nuke here at the top. Uh, strike cannons counter ghosts with nuke. That's the first. Uh, very hilarious. So this nuke is going to land another nuke. There, I, I swear I've seen more nukes in this one game than probably every single game I've ever watched of StarCraft. So this nuke is going to land. Boom. There it goes. Uh, scans are just dropping down. Look at left and right scans all over the place. Avila's now still controlling most of the map. He's had map control for a really long time, but Drewby's been doing a pretty good job of just trying to claw his way back into this game. 3-3 three, three upgrades there for Drewby. No armor upgrades there for his tank, but he has three attack upgrades. A ghost pushing up here is going to do a nuke, but he's in vision. He's going to get hit by a tank. He quickly cancels that, falls back. Another nuke coming down here from Avila right in Drewby's face. He's going to have to lift up that orbital. Or uh, unfortunately lose it, but it looks like he's just going to lose it. Hunter Seeker Missiles, no, where'd that go? Thought I heard a Hunter Seeker Missile. Maybe that was a Hunter Seeker Missile on that. And a nuke coming down here, he does take out a couple tanks. Luckily, those SCVs did not run straight into that. And you can see the uh, after effect there. of this blurry stuff uh, from that ground on fire. This ghost is going to die. No, he dies. And uh, another ghost sniping back and forth, throwing down an auto turret. But, oh wow, uh, just a couple units. Derby holds off that... Uh, massive amount of the damage he's going to get inflicted on him there. Scan going down. He's going to have to snipe that ghost. He's going to take three. One more. Shoot it! Shoot it! Oh, there he goes. He finally gets a Velo. Uh, and those battle cruisers were getting in position like, oh, I can't wait to do Mato Cannon something. These guys got all of such high energy. And uh, some more nukes going on. We have a nuke here in the middle. Just nukes all over the place. And what does he rally to? Oh, wow. He ran into that tank and destroyed uh, just nukes all over this. Another nuke gonna land here in the middle. Oh, there we go. This is gonna be such an inhabitable, uninhabitable planet after this game is over. Just so many nukes going off. Four more nukes being produced. Four Drewby Drewby. Is, he's always nuking right on top of that other. Is he nuking right on top of himself? That's gonna die. That's not gonna work. Just, <laughs> these ghosts are getting more and more ballsier. They're just having tournaments like a cup. He's just like, oh. You nuke from that far away? Well, I'll nuke myself. And the guy's like, the other ghosts are like, that's probably not a very smart idea. And they, this one ghost is like so cocky. He's like, I don't care. I'll do it anyway. You know, just just to be a one-upper. More nukes being uh, produced for both players. Who needs units at this point? All you need is a ghost and a nuclear silo. And some just orbitals over here. A nuke being placed here from a velo. He's going to do a lot of damage. That actually may hit some SCVs up there. It's going to hit those tanks for sure. And that's going to hit. There's probably another nuke somewhere on this map. There it goes. It's going to take out some tanks. Oh, almost gets that tank down to 10 life left. Some Yamato cannons taking out some uh, Thors. And, oh, actually going to... Is that Thor burning? Yeah, he was on fire there for a little bit. Getting a little too hot to handle with those Yamato cannons. Uh, whew. Game is intense. Uh, so Drew, you actually using mules? I'm gonna actually check the worker count at this point. 52 versus 43. So this, uh, and the income has actually dropped dramatically there for Avila. He's not uh, macroing very well in this game. Uh, he does have a ton of gas, but his mills are so low. He really needs to get some more. Uh, there's a nuke guy. I heard a nuke around here somewhere. There it was. Nuking something. This is all Nagatire. It's having a bad day. I swear. 
Uh, more nukes have been going on here in the middle. And there we go, Velo now throwing down some mules here in this position. He really needs to start mining some more minerals because uh, he's so so low on minerals that actually may actually help out. And look at all these look at all these SCVs just on on break or something. And uh, Drewby's now going to take on this bottom base and the top base at the same time with eight Vikings four down here at the bottom four at the top. And uh, feels like okay, you can have it. I'm out of here. And they're just kind of trading base and the SCV kind of hanging out. So man, look at this. I just got to check his vision right now. avilo has got. 32 workers idle. 32! Avilo, come on, dude. I know this game is intense and there's been like nukes back and forth, but you gotta you gotta look at that tab in the bottom left. It tells you you've got 32 SCVs not mining and you wonder why you've got 8,000 gas and no minerals. Uh, so it looks like they're gonna have to play a little spiking tag here. Calling out some mules for repair for Avilo. Uh, he's gonna repair that orbital. Yep, it looks like and those Vikings are gonna be taken out and he lands and picks back up, unfortunately. Those Vikings have nowhere to go, and this one is going to be taken out so quickly. Uh, Velo retaking both of these bases, and uh, he's in a good position. Some Yamato cans taking out some ghosts. Uh, okay. They do do 300 damage, so they do one shot ghosts, not a problem. And there are so many ravens out. Look at all those ravens. And it looks like uh, Derby's like, you know what? I actually do want to have this expansion back. So he's going to land all his Vikings, and now he's going to be forced to lift all his Vikings back up. And a uh, big attack coming down here in the bottom. Once again, a nuke going off. Some Thor's doing some siege can or uh, strike can. Timato's going down on those Thor's. Two Timato cans do kill a Thor. And uh, secret missiles going down to Battle Cruisers. Oh, there's so many secret missiles. Look at him go. Oh, that was actually on a Thor right there. And that nuke. Oh my god! He just lost. <laughs> Two nukes going down. Avila just lost. Look at his food count 53 food. Another nuke going down. Here he's going to kill the rest of those Thor's. That Battle Cruiser's going to die too. That goes to chase him, that goat says a taste for blood. Oh, the goat gets taken out, and the battle cruiser's gonna die, and those two Thors finally get mopped up in the battle cruiser. Seems to be the only thing that survived that attack with one life left. Oops. <laughs> that is the biggest oops I've ever seen. Oh, wow. Look at the food count 36 versus 143. Oh, man. I bet Avila was wishing he had this base mining and, uh,. The space mine. Let's check his uh, harvest or his uh, harvester. 25 dudes on break. Man, this is the life being a SEV for a Velo. And uh, wow, so that that was a huge shift in this game. Now, uh, Drewby is uh, making a lot. What is he making here? Barracks. He's making eight barracks. So it looks like he's gonna transition into mass marine. He does have those bio upgrades, and I heard a nuke coming from somewhere. Where's that nuke at? Sorry for the jerky uh, camera movements, but I, it's hard to find nukes because uh, they don't show up like on the minimap or anything like that. So uh, I guess it got canceled or something. But Battle Cruiser now working on the rocks. And uh, oh man, some uh, snipes going down. Some ghost sniping back and forth. Uh, no idle SCVs for Drewby. Avila is down to six now. So getting better, but oh man, Avila now he's. Uh, in crisis mode, gonna have to mine as many minerals as possible to get back in this. He has 6,000 gas, so he's got so much gas banked up. Uh, this base has been almost no mineage at all going on in this base up here. Drew's gonna take that out. He's clearing out those rocks, so he's gonna be able to push up here, take out those uh, those minerals, no problem with those SCVs. And I, I would easily have to say Drew's in control now. Just his mineral count is insane. Uh, gas, not so much, but he can just pump out Marines like nobody's business look at all those those are so many was he making a tech lab okay i guess he wants to make some marauders to transition into marauders uh, at this point it's only been 56 minutes into the game <laughs> now it's time for a good transition you know uh so Druby is mining with uh, i don't think that number's right it says six but i'm pretty sure there's more than six on there maybe it's right but there's just a lot of scvs hanging out here uh, a lot of other stuff going on strut cans taking out that Taking out that command center, uh, denying that. But we got a big push up here from Drewby. Still has those uh, battle cruisers out, which may change the tide of the game. And he lost all his ravens. He lost so many ravens due to that nuke and his entire air mine. This is going to be so hard uh, for Vila Vila. He's got no siege tanks either. He's just got Thor's versus the Marine Viking. And this is not a good battle cruisers up here at the top. He's focusing on trying to kill those battle cruisers. The Yamatacon cannons going down. Marines out stimming in, pushing out, going to take out all those Thor's. And Vila GGing it. Game over. Oh, that was a lot of nukes that game. <laughs> that was so many nukes. They were just ghost sniping back and forth. Uh, that was a ridiculous TVT. 
that was probably the most entertaining TVT I've ever seen. Just because of the trade-off. This is such a good map. I've seen so many good good matches on Securus Plateau. Uh, just like, I don't know, it's amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed this game. I had so much fun casting it. It was just a great game to watch and uh, spectate and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, thanks for that. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Comment, all that good stuff. And if you have any cool replays uh, that you see from streamers or whatever, like someone just streamed an awesome game and they post a replay, send it to me. You can send uh, any replays to me at ianshakino at gmail.com. And that's pretty much it for me. Thanks, everybody. See you later.